Hello everybody, Larry Mitchell here, and I am in Pensacola, Florida with a longtime friend and someone I think that you would find very interesting, especially with the history of guitar with uh, this, this young man. <laughs> this is Darren Johansson. Um, is it Darren Johansson Designs or? Uh, I'm ATD Swirl still. ATD Swirls. Yeah. And it's the, key, the key word there is swirls. Um, Darren goes back to, uh, if you're an Ibanez fan and you've had one of the Steve Vai swirled guitars, um, the universe, the DNA, uh, some Fender guitars, and then a lot of custom stop, custom shop guitars, or custom guitars that have been swirled. Uh, you'll recognize his work, and you'll 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 understand why I'm excited to to talk with Darren. We've actually known each other for many years back in New York, so probably in the late '80s. So yeah. we're talking thirty something years yep. now. We used to drive around with Dave and then doing the clubs. Right around doing the clubs. Remember and. Uh, uh, I have uh, I've owned many guitars that have been swirled and uh, watched uh, my friend Dave's own many guitars that have been swirled. Actually, Dave has my uh, my white and black guitar, yeah. Ivan his guitar that uh, was made for me at the custom shop that's been swirled. Yeah. And I used that guitar on the Billy Squire tour and I used that on the Tracy Chapman tour. And there's another guitar here we'll get into in a minute that I used on the Billy Squire tour that's been swirled as well. Um, so Darren, we're in Pensacola, Florida. You've been here for how long? God, 27 years, just about. Wow. Yeah. Actually, yeah. probably 27, January 11. <clears throat> okay. That's kind of long. Very nice. <laughs> we'll left seven inches of snow. Yes. I Don't, don't with, get me started on snow in New York. With, with don't two iguanas on my dashboard. Yeah. And drove on. Yes. <laughs> two iguanas on a dashboard. <laughs> yep. yep. Okay. It was kind of fun. Yeah, they didn't like the cold either. No, no. They were up on the dashboard. I, stopped, I had to stop in Jersey, mm -hmm. and they have to pump your gas. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I pulled up there, and I said, yeah, pump the gas. He goes, you want to wash your windows? I go, well, sure. And he goes to wash the window. He goes, jumps back. He goes, man, you got some dinosaurs in your window. He thought they were stuffed. But... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but he yeah. freaked out. Man. It was funny. Mm -hmm. All right, so Darren, so tell me about the guitar you're holding. I've never seen this guitar. This has been in the archives forever. Um, mm -hmm. This is one of the original swirls we ever did. I'm we, looking at the patterns. There's some beautiful stuff. I see, like, designs in there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a little different than most of them. It was just the way it was coming up, and I liked it. The second one, Eddie Van Halen has. Okay. This is, yeah, this is um, a prototype that we did two of those, and we did one of those the custom one that you have over there is what we showed to Fender to get the bowling ball strat um, contract. The bowling ball strat. Yep. And that was what the original color we sent to. Oh, yeah, surely. Um, to Fender. And then uh, we had those two and this one. Mm -hmm. And we showed them to Dan Smith from Fender. Okay. And we were in the uh, in the booth and. Uh, all of a sudden, he walks back. He goes outside, gets a couple guys, and he comes back and he shuts the door. He goes, uh, uh, "Don't show this to anybody else." <laughs> I go, oh, "What do you mean?" I said, "You gotta have a commitment before you say that, because that one's being shown to Kramer." Mm -hmm. His eyes got a little buggy. He goes, "I'll commit to three hundred right now." So that was the first ones. Was actually this, the uh, gold and silver, and the red, black, and white, just like that one. And those are the original colors. Now I'm doing customs on these or retro. Um, this body is really light. It's it's fender. It's not a fender, but it's a uh, copy from uh, WD. Okay. I, something about this reminds me of like a, a bowling ball. <laughs> no, no. This particular I've seen the bowling right. ball ones. This particular one has got uh, a Van Goghish thing to me. It kind of so does. A swirl to it, but that's just yeah, me. like Starry Night. Like Starry Night. Exactly. Actually, that's funny. It's my mine and my kids' favorite. Picture. Starting night? Yeah. 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 Very cool. But yeah, this is uh, some of the retro <laughs> ones we're doing or uh, read vibes or whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, we're doing that and then we're doing all the other colors too as well. Okay. Starting to put them out because cool. a lot of Fender people are digging off. All right. That's cool. So you, you've you done stuff for Fender, for uh, Ibanez, obviously. And what yeah. other companies? Um, well, Behringer. Um, we did samples for Kramer. Mm -hmm. Um, God, it, it was pretty big. Um, we did even for ESP. Okay. After Fender, when uh, Vernon. Okay. Was, Vernon was going to be our first 
Does he? Has, Dorsey. He has a couple of squirrels, huh? Doesn't he? He has the ESP ones. He may have one of the original squirrels. Okay. Because he was going to be the first in Dorsey at Fender. Okay. For us. And then he switched over to ESP. Uh, and they did that sand through type of thing. Uh huh. If you remember them. That was like 83, I think, or 84. Ooh. Okay. So he switched just as he was supposed to be getting our guitars. Okay. Which is a bummer because I love Vernon. Man. Yeah, yeah I mean, Vernon's just cool. the sweetheart, and, you know, he's Vernon, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, cool. So, yeah. uh, and then you're doing, like, these days, you're in a few, you know, these days you're doing a little more custom stuff, too. Right? Yeah, yeah. I kind of stepped away from <clears throat> Ibanez, and, uh, you know, We'll see how that goes soon. Do you have a website people can find you on? Or? No, basically I'm on Facebook as of now. Okay. But I have a couple of people who are interested in making a website, so that should come soon. I do have the thing. It's atswirl.com. Atswirl.com. ATD. And then how do you find you on Facebook? Um, Darren Johansson. D-A-R-R-E-N-J-O-H-A-N-S-E-N. Okay. And uh, on Facebook or uh, ATD Swirl is also on there, I believe. Okay. So you can get either one. On Facebook? Those. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, if you get me on Darren, I'll answer pretty quick. So, and you can message me and uh, you know, like or whatever the hell, uh, friend me. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, so let's see. This this is a, a universe. This is one of the universe REs, and she's a pretty. Wow. Yeah. This is one of the artist choice that I got when I did the uh, 100 out of the 100. So this is one of the 100. Yep. Wow. Yeah. And what year was this done? 2010. It was the year my. It's wow, the serial number's right there? Yep. Interesting. Yep. And Very this cool. one, it doesn't have the artist's choice on it. But, but yeah, this is this one is just totally gorgeous. Absolutely. Let me see. Let me show. A little bit. Okay, yeah, it's probably damn close to in tune. I'm not going to hit that. Every time I play a seven string guitar. <laughs> no. Every time I play a seven string guitar, I put everything in B. So. Okay. <laughs> it's just a natural reflex. Yeah, so these, um, we did the uh, th uh, 100 on these. Mm -hmm. And that was the copy, uh, basically a reissue from the 91, uh, the 90 that we did for Steve on the front cover of Passion Warfare. Oh, yeah. And we did several, several, several of those. Yeah. So. Um, they were also copied by the J uh, Japanese, was the first ones. And they they call in the markers with the mustard ketchup relish, which looked nothing like these colors. Yeah. You know, so. But when they wanted to do it again, they called me to go and do the, or they actually sent these to the United States. Mm -hmm. And we did these here. Okay. And it's kind of funny. Uh, Makoto uh, Sujimoto from uh, Fujigen. Mm -hmm. I was in the hospital with my lung problems as usual. Okay. And uh, he was coming to Pensacola. So I was like, dude, I'm sick, don't come. He's like, I'm coming, I don't care what. Now, I'm up in a negative pressure room in a hospital and he's coming and I get, my birthday was Friday the, uh, the 22nd of May. I get out and he shows up Friday evening. So I got to see him Saturday, I was fine, but mm -hmm. I, they did a, um, I was sick, like spitting up blood and stuff, mm -hmm. which is scary, but they do a TB test and they lock me in this negative pressure room. I'm like, what did I do? And he I came to fine. visit you. Yeah, I'm fine, but he's coming. I'm like, what is, I can't even get out of here. It's like lockdown, you know? Mm -hmm. Security guys, because I tried to get out a few times, security guys are standing at the door. I'm like, hey guys. Finally, I just gave it up, you know? I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> but, mm -hmm. and this, that's the one that has. Hey Steve. Yeah, hey Steve, a little bit in there. That is the Y2K DNA model. Wow. And that model, um, they <clears throat> flew me to Japan. Serial number is 001-300, so one of 300. Yep, number one. Number one. Yeah, she's, she's, that's my baby. And that's dedicated, this one is dedicated to my dad who, uh, that one is dedicated to my dad who passed. Okay. Um, we were going to Japan, and, uh, we were talking about doing the project, and uh, on the in inside it has a sticker on there. It says, dedicated to my dad, follow your dreams. Oh, cool. And, uh, yeah, that's the that's got what they say. Redport has, the, has like... The DNA helix. The helix? Yep. The double helix? Yes. Along with that. That's awesome. Yeah. 
and that's got, well, what they call is the, I would say, DNA. And it's in the dark red. So this has Steve's blood. Yep. Yep. Mixed it. It was like eight eight parts uh, paint and one part blood. Wow. So there actually is quite a bit in there. Wow. And I'm kind of glad it's clear coated. So. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a trip because we, a bunch of guys all were going to Japan, right? Because they flew me there. They, they uh, did a tank for me over there. Yeah, how'd you bring back Steve's blood? Well, this is the trick. <laughs> they had like four or five different people going with vials in case somebody got busted because honestly, it's not cool to travel with blood <laughs> across the world. I don't know if you should tell that. <laughs> I would. So I had one with me that they sent to me mm -hmm. and they met me in LA and they go, listen, you know, we don't want a chance you going to anywhere except to Japan. So why don't you give it to one of us? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I to transfer it over. Wow. It was kind of wild. But then when we got there, we mixed it all into the paint, so it was a done deal. And it was also uh, mixed down a little bit, too, with uh, iodine and stuff, so safety okay. sake, you know. Yeah. So this one actually is for sale, I heard. Actually, I put it up for 35000 It's mm -hmm. number one. Um, I know the some of the other ones are out there for fifteen to twenty at this point. So there's only $300. they are all numbered. But this is number one. This is number one. This is number one. It could be yours. And the swirl is just gorgeous. I like the, my favorite stuff is like the lizard skin, <laughs> mm -hmm. is what we call it. And it shows up in several spots on here. It just adds so much killer detail. And there's several of them that I did that have it. But this one just kind of showcases it, you know, in its own little, with the black and in that little sections and stuff. The same in the back. Cool. Yeah. All right. And what is the deal with this? That. It was a guitar I did for somebody. They uh, traded me out for another guitar. For a I've job never seen these colors on a swirl before. Nope. That's that. That's the same colors as my motorcycle. Uh, and you swirled a motorcycle before, yeah. right? Yep. Oh. That one is exactly the same colors as my bike. And it, if it was sunny, you can see the black sparkles and the gold sparkles. I mean, it's got like a uh, metal flake in it. Cool. Yeah. And that's that's. Why don't you hold that? I don't want to take a chance to yeah. put that back in there. Yeah, that's a good. That's a pretty one. I love that guitar. Heavy as hell. Yeah. Les Pauls walk by and go, damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> and last but not least, yeah, this guitar is very familiar. Yeah, that is a favorite. Um, this guitar mm -hmm. I used on the Billy Squire tour for yep. uh, three songs a night, every night. Yep. And um, it was the only guitar I had with three single coils at the time. That was you changed for you, them. right? Uh, Jim Donnie, you know, I got to the Squire tour and we were rehearsing, and um, I needed a single coil guitar for it. And Billy was playing with, uh, you know, he had a 58 burst and yeah. 57 gold tops and a no caster. <laughs> and and uh, so I needed some serious versatility. And uh, so I needed one, and um, I called up, and Jim Donnie, who made this guitar, me on the spot oh really like he made it and then I got it two days later or nice. something like that I think one day to build it and then and then whatever happened the next day and then it was shipped the next day and then nice. I got it the next day yeah uh, it was white it yeah. was all white mm -hmm. on the Billy Squire tour yep uh, and there's a video I believe I'm using it on the she goes down video yeah on that uh, with Billy Squire actually I haven't even seen that one and uh, so you've done this like this is this is like candy. Yeah, ain't it? I love that one. That's one of my favorites. Wow, look at that. Those are cool. the ones that you kind of never want to let go. <laughs> yeah. You got I everything. Mean, you got purple, yellow, pink. Got five, six colors in there. Pink, yeah. orange, green, purple, green, blue. Blue? Yeah. I'm looking and at the blue. <clears throat> I think that's it. I think it's five. But that's where I'll just came None out of so my much. DNA. No, no there is no Larry DNA there. But if it was, it'd be green. <laughs> <laughs> if there was, it would have been washed off. Actually, it would be it. purple. You were purple? It would be purple. Oh. Remember, you used to wear all the purple stuff for oh, a while. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Cool. As well. Darren Johansson. Yeah. This is great. So uh, That's a powerful little guitar with those pickups in it. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, great history. You started doing a swirling win. God, uh, first time I did any type of, oh, swirling, was probably 81. 81. 81. I was working with a friend, and we just, he's taught me, and he's like, well, you're teaching me now. 
Okay. So that, and then uh, with the fenders, I took a, uh, uh, it's called foam core board. Mm -hmm. And I placed a, a Univox strat on top of the foam core. The, did every, you know, just uh, traced it out, cut it out, and then I drew everything in there from strings to frets mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. um, fretboard, everything. Cut it all out, perfect, and then took a picture of it. And that's what I sent to Fender, mm. the picture. Okay. And that's how I got a call. And then he was like, well, I'd really like to see that. In and person it out at the NAMM show in, in Chicago. Oh, yeah. At, Chicago NAMM. Uh, uh, McCormick Center. Yes. McCormick Place, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, when he said he wanted to see it, that was like in uh, April or March. I think probably April. Mm -hmm. Or no, March. And we had like uh, three months, three and a half months to get guitars ready. So that's when this guy, Steve Carr, built the uh, Van Halen guitars. He built uh -huh. two of those, and he built uh, the blue the one. The blue one. Right. And that's what we brought to Nam. And that's when they, you know, shut the door after that. And it was kind of weird because I was like, "Well, I'm heading over to I'm heading over to uh, Kramer after this." So we got lucky. Cool. We got lucky. Mm -hmm. We did 300 pieces, 320 total. Okay. And then we did some more samples after that, but it just didn't go. All right. But. The history, the history moves on. You yep. moved on and did some really great stuff. Yeah. And there are lots of people out there that are doing this, and some of them are really good, and yep. some of them are uh, not quite as good. Yeah, different, but unique. Different, different. Um, but uh, you're one of the originals. Yeah. So I'm that's awesome. Pretty much the, apparently. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Tell people again how they can get in contact with you. Uh, I'm on uh, Facebook, Darren Johansson, uh, D-A-R-R-E-N-J-O-H-A-N-S-E-N. -E -E uh, I probably have one of my scary face pictures up there, so you can notice who it is right off the bat. And uh, also ATD Swirl on Facebook as well. We will have a website coming out soon, but we don't have it at the moment. But uh, keep an eye out. Cool. Thank you guys for watching, and um, I will see you. If, you. if you enjoyed this, please hit the like oh. button and subscribe, and I will One see you with some more. Yeah, sure. This guitar, um, this guitar here is dedicated to my son who has autism. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I just want to put it out there. Um, Show the guitar because I don't think yeah, you can see it. Music, music is a great thing for kids, man, for uh, <laughs> autism. We run a Absolutely. band sometimes. Uh, we do special shows, and it's called the Kid Friendly Band. And what we do is, uh, thank God for Ibanez and Tama has uh, donated drums and guitars and amps. Mm -hmm. And we go out and we let the kids beat the hell out of the drums, play anything they want on the guitars, bass mm -hmm. guitar, and they just love it. And some of them, kids, will tap a cymbal and will get so close to it and not touch it, and you can still feel, see it in their eyes, yeah. how they feel just the vibrations, and even on the strings. And one of the funniest things is, you know, we've been doing all this music stuff for so long with the kids, is that we turn around and we'd start putting mics up in front, and that was the big hit. As soon as they heard their voice yeah. on a microphone which is amplified, big. which is big, their eyes lit up, and then they started to keep trying. And then they were mimicking the singer who we had, this, uh, this girl, who was just fantastic. And, you know, it's just, it, I mean, I've brought several, several people there. And I said, there's, one, there's a couple things you'll dig. A, you'll dig the kids, B, you'll dig your heart, mm -hmm. and B, you'll end up tearing up every cool. damn time. Very so, cool. That was right. dedicated to Liberty. Cool. Yeah, Liberty's cool. I yeah. got to, to hang with Liberty for right. a yeah. couple of times. Yeah, we're off to go feed the birds <clears throat> after this. <laughs> Thanks again, and I uh, will see you guys every Tuesday night um, or Tuesday Night Live. Yeah. And uh, please hit the subscribe button and a like if you, if you enjoyed it. Thanks. Be well.